Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Cloak and Dagger. A little bit late, had a lot of videos to put up. You don't put up a trailer on a Wednesday. That's when all of us nerds are reading the brand new comic books that just came out during the week. They drop on Wednesday. Okay, nonetheless, nonetheless. Comic Book Aficionado, I'm going to react to first time me seeing this trailer, late as it is. Okay, looks like it's about a minute 47 seconds. Go. She's a ballerina. Good. What just happened? He was really good at basketball. If I don't do everything perfectly, you're gonna lose me. Oh, baby, I'm afraid even if you do everything perfectly, I'm gonna lose you. What's your name? Tandy Bowen. And his name Tyrone Johnson. <laughs> yeah, Tyrone. <laughs> they look like a cute couple. Love that she's a ballerina. Love that he's a basketball player. This is where they get kidnapped. Um, that shouldn't hurt each other. They're symbiotic with each other. 100%. <clears throat> More of a dagger than a crystal, but okay. Uh, he's got his cloak. Like Roxon, yo, Roxon is everywhere. That's like the one that 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 ties everybody more than uh, than Coulson ever did. <laughs> cloak and dagger, and that looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. All right, guys. All right. Uh, whew. Let me close this puppy up. My laptop. All right. Yeah, this looks good. Um. We, okay, first off, I've already got a video, so I don't have to go into too much explanation about Cloak and Dagger. I've already got a video up that I put up maybe two months ago. Um, as soon as I heard that they were going to do a Cloak and Dagger thing on Freeform and whatnot, I was like, oh, that's it. I loved Cloak and Dagger. I grew up reading the hell out of some Cloak and Dagger, starting off in Spectacular Spider-Man. Guys, I've got like a two-minute video. It's called Explained in a Minute, but they're two characters, so... A minute each. <laughs> in reality, it's one video where I just explain them both. Uh, so literally two minutes, you'll have more than enough understanding of who Cloak and Dagger were. Little differences in this, now it's over here, is that um, they actually met in New York City, not in a park or something like that. But, you know, they want to change stuff like that. I'm good. I'm totally good with that. Um, the way they originally met was that uh, she ran away from home because her mother's like a supermodel, trying to actress thing, but she's majorly just a drug uh, addict, you know, and stepfather is actually a really good guy, but he, but she doesn't trust him. So she just, she ran away from home, you know? Um, yeah. And she was like 15, if I remember correctly. And he was 16. That was about the age, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, that, you know, they, they, they left home. Uh, he wound up leaving home because, uh, his best friend wound up getting shot in front of him. Uh, his best friend was completely innocent of everything. You know, it was completely innocent. It was just a cop who just got trigger happy, whatever, and shot the wrong guy, shot some, some kid. And it was Tyrone's best friend, you know, growing up playing ba uh, basketball. And Tyrone tried to stop it. He tried to call out, no, but he stutters. He gets nervous and he stutters all the time. He's got a horrible stutter. And boom, the cop literally just shot his friend dead. So he ran away from home, just not being able to deal with everything. So we know we do get to see a little bit of um, his mom in and his neighborhood in his backstory. But for the most part, we don't really learn too much about his mom in the story. So I like that they might actually explain something here. He was of the opinion he could never go home. He could never be normal again. He put on that cloak because he wasn't him anymore. Once they got uh, brought into this, uh, this drug ring, right, they met each other and he was actually about to pick her pocket you know, to take some money, and he decided against it. Somebody else comes along and picks a pocket instead. You got to remember, this was back in like 1983, 84. 
uh, Times Square, New York City. Guys, uh, today, uh, you know, you could walk down Times Square. It's not a problem. Back in the day, you couldn't walk 30 feet. You think I'm joking? Look it up. Ask, ask an older person, all right? 30 feet without walking into another sex shop, you know what I'm saying, or something along those lines. That's no exaggeration. Penny peep shows or, or quarter peep shows all the time, you know, and just rated R stuff, hookers on the streets and just people peddling drugs. Cops didn't, you know, it, it was a bad neighborhood where, yeah, cops would patrol the streets. They wouldn't get out of the car too often. So, you know, it was, it was a rough neighborhood. Um, thanks, Giuliani, for cleaning that stuff up because he was best friends with all of the um, the mobsters at the time and he worked out a deal. Hey, clean them up so I can look good. Yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I'm from Jersey, baby. Don't. So anyway, yeah, the basically it was it was one of those kind of really rough growing up situations. And I could see why they wouldn't do it now, because New York isn't really like that anymore. You know, especially not Times Square. It's beautiful at this point. So it is what it is. And I think that this could be great. Because there's a huge drug story. I'm sure that Roxon is going to be involved in this somehow. Um, they weren't. It was a weird kind of story, but you know they they, they hired people to make a manufacture a new drug for on the street. Roxon oil isn't only Roxon oil, so I'm sure they're going to have something to actually do with this. Not just going to be a little you know given like oh look there's a sign that's in every single Marvel movie, TV show, and possibly even cartoon. So yeah, I'm I like what they're doing. Okay, I'm just saying that over and over again. Really looking forward to this, guys. Check out my uh, Cloak and Dagger Explained in a Minute video. Everything that you need to know about them. All right, guys. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.